Okay, so we're just going to make a really tiny ribbon with a piece of blue gum paste. Just make a strip and wound it as a ribbon. Put a smaller strip in the middle. And it's going to come out as his little bow. All right. And then when it's on him, we can put some indentations. All right. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to make a crescent shape. And then make a circle and flatten it. That's pretty much it. <laughs> you can play with the details and use your own style when you make him. But it's pretty simple, right? Okay, so for the wings, we're gonna need two balls of gum paste. Make an elongated shape that's narrow at one end and wide at the other. Flatten it. Trying to make this as simple as possible. Um, I actually made a the right wing, so let's make the left one. Just make two cuts. Or like that. And then just use your fingers to shape it. Make sure that the ends are tapered. And I'm trying to make this tutorial as short and as simple and understandable as possible with a, a toddler right here so you can understand why it's noisy and all that. I get complaints, believe it or not. <laughs> I get um, emails saying, I can't understand what you're saying because your background is so distracting. Yeah, some people give you that email instead of just saying, thank you for... <laughs> Taking the time. All right, so use your tool again to make lines. It doesn't have to be perfect. The more realistic it is, the better. Well, it's not realistic. It's cartoony. But it's nice to see some um, texture there. All right, so we get the left wing and the right. Then this will hug our baby. All right, so let's position our baby right in the middle. And since this is um, of considerable weight, I'm going to use a skewer stick to stick the baby in. Let's have a kind of see where it goes and make a mark there and poke a hole. As far as you need to go in. So this will support the bulk of the weight of what you're going to put in the middle. So you can put whatever you want in here. Just using a baby at this point. And then also glue the back of that baby. Alright, and then we're going to use Tylos glue on both wings. And I'm 
position it like it's carrying the baby. You can actually make the wings a lot thinner now that I'm looking at it. It would look a lot nicer if it were thinner. Actually happy how, how this turned out with the limited time we got. Phew. Okay, so there is our stork. Take a closer look. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and um, I, had a, I had a blast showing this to you. Thank you for the emails and all the all those who um, subscribed to my YouTube channel and all those who clicked like for our Facebook page. Oh, last uh, reminders. At the very bottom, make sure that you do something about it. I, I used wax paper and then I put gum paste around to adhere the whole thing to the cake or you can use fondant or gum paste or what have you so just so that the wood will not stick to this the cake surface and make sure that you cover the sides um, so that the wood will not show and to make it a little more stable thank you so much and if you do decide to make it show me a picture and share it to the others thank you and you have a great day